And it even comes with water. He put my water back in. Now that's small town service. You don't get that in the city, my friend. Thank you very much. Ooh, yeah, right there. Ooh, that's the spot. Yep. Mm, oh, that feels good. Oh, good. Whew. Oh, hi. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Punchwood, the farmer here. Farm farm hand. I'm a level 9 farm hand now. Woohoo, upgrade. I was just uh, scratching my back with the skeletal tail that we found in the last episode somewhere. I think fishing, right? I don't know. Uh, today's Tuesday. The last time I played this game was last week, like Friday or Thursday or something. So anyway, let's get rolling on our day. I'm sure we have plenty to do. <laughs> I just have to figure out what that is. Tomorrow's going to be beautiful and sunny. Today is also beautiful and sunny. Let's see how the spirits are feeling. They're mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on our side. That's kind of a stinker. And we have a new episode of Queen O Sauce about pancakes. Sometimes I get carried away with fancy, complicated dishes, but there's something comforting about a simple pancake. You want plenty of butter and maple syrup to slather over these warm stacks. Mmm, stop teasing me with these recipes. Pancakes. I can't even make them. I don't have a kitchen. <laughs> we need an upgrade. Oh, Demetrius. Hi, good morning. Hi, Punchwood. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there, a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful. For both of us. Oh, <laughs> there's always something in it for everybody else too, right? I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way, I can observe them in a more controlled environment. And you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Oh, cool. Which one do you prefer? Well, uh, I need to tell you right now, I can't even sleep on it. Okay, uh, well, let's see. Mushrooms, I think I can find pretty much growing wildly, right? I know that we can find them in the caves the deeper we go and even some forests. The bats will leave fruit is what he said, right? So I could probably use the fruit to make jellies and jams. And since I'm the artisan guy, that might make sense. Uh, I don't know. Let's just go with the bats, I guess. That sounds cool. I'll do bats, Demetrius. All right, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. You owe me one, Demetrius. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's fast. I hear you, Wilson. Hold on, I gotta check the mail. It's a letter from Lewis. Punchwood, remember to eat healthy or you won't have enough energy to work hard. I'm including one of my favorite recipes. Make sure to use ripe tomatoes. Lewis. Spaghetti, yeah. Well, you need a lot of that high energy for... Anyway. Oh, this is from Pam. Hey, kid. My throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for a pale ale. You got one? Regular old beer won't do. I need a pale ale. Pam. <laughs> oh, she's a woman after my own heart. Although she's not really my type, but I do love pale ale. It is my favorite type of beer in IRL. I love myself a pale ale. Anyway. All right. Let's get on with it. Uh, oh, the blueberries. The blueberries are up. Wow. Oh, we got to go check them out, guys. Uh, but first things first, let's just get some copper going. Let's throw a broken CD in the uh, in the recycler. Hold on. Oh, baby. Those are blueberries, right? I'm pretty sure. First blueberry harvest. I'm so excited for that there. Oh, there's my drum beat. And put that away. We don't really need it right now. And oh, let's go check these out. Oh, wait. First of all. Pam is thirsty. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. She's hankering for Pam. <laughs> hankering, hankering. Okay, check them out. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. You get like three per harvest? You get more than one. That's for sure. They have to drop it all over the place. Dang it. These are awesome. Look at them all over. Oh, my gosh. Wow. We got two golden star bellies. We got five silver star bellies and 29 regular blueberries. And we have some hops up here, too. Pretty soon we'll be able to brew our own beer. Maybe we can make our own uh, pale ale. That would be awesome. Oh, fantastic, man. Look at all those blueberries. So we have to decide what the heck to do to them. Um, I think I'm just going to sell. Let's just sell these five star bellies. I think they're worth a lot, actually. We'll hang on to these two golden star bellies. And then we'll hang on to the 29 blueberries to make um to make jams and so forth wow it's gonna last a lifetime 29 blueberries and they continue to grow too that's fantastic 
All right, let's throw those in there. That's going to fetch us a pretty penny. The periwinkles can go in there too. Um, so yeah, just give me a minute here, guys. I'm going to get all organized. Eyes. I think that's all the crops. And I'm going to uh, figure out what we're going to do for the day. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. It's now 9.30 in the morning. And I think we're ready to boogie. I'm going to go ahead and eat two pieces of algae here. It looks like we got to bed late last night. Because I don't have full energy back. Um, and I can't do any watering because I don't have my watering can. Remember, we gave it to Clint for an upgrade. So we're going to have to hustle over to see him soon. Uh, but we're going to have to get it today. We have to water those crops tonight. So, let's just go down south real quickly here. I want to go see the merchant. Today is, it's a Sunday, the 14th. And I'm pretty sure the traveling merchant will be down here. And then we'll head over to town and take care of a few things. Oh, a spice berry. And there is that purple pig. <laughs> yeah, let's clear up this all these weeds here. Couldn't see them there behind the trees. Anyway, hello. Oh, ow. Hi, what you got? Cranberry candy. Oh, that would make a great gift for one of the kids. But I'm not going to spend 690 gold. <laughs> That's insane. Peppers poppers. Oh, somebody loves those. I think um, I think uh, Shane talks about those. A tulip for 500. A fried mushroom for 1,000. A tulip for 200. I'd really like to get some fruit trees going. But um, with the bats dropping off fruits in the cave, we might not have to do that. Let's wait and see what they can drop off first. And rare seed. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to buy one tulip for 200 That seems like a reasonable price. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. See you next week. Yeah, let's roll out. So we have some geodes to process. We have the skeletal tail to donate to Gunther. So that's where we're headed right now. Over to the town. And then uh, from there, I think we'll head up to the mines and try to reach level 40. See, we have, um, we've had this in here forever. Deeper in the mines, this uh, this quest. we got to get to level 40. We also have to deliver quartz to Sebastian. And there's no timer on Pam's Ale, so we have plenty of time. We can probably brew it eventually, right? I don't know when we're going to get kegs, but I think, it's, uh, I think it's a long way off, to be honest. Oh, it's Haley. Haley. Stop. Let's chat. Oh, Haley, you're having a day in the beach, I see. Hey, Haley. Emily usually cooks dinner, but she makes weird stuff like quinoa. Yeah, <laughs> it's disgusting. Actually, it's very healthy here. Maybe let's take your mind off of it. Have a tulip. Oh, a new achievement. New, a new, I can't read it. A new something. <gasps> For me, thank you. Five hearts. Woo. <laughs> we got uh, five hearts with Haley. What does it mean? What could it possibly mean, Haley? Oh, Alex, I'm so sorry about your birthday yesterday. I got these new shoes yesterday because my old pair had a brown smudge. Oh, you got new shoes for your birthday. That's cool. I just threw them into the garbage. I would have donated them, but I don't like the idea of some weirdo wearing my shoes, you know? Ah, you brand new shoes for, for your birthday. That's lovely. Uh, anyway, I'll catch you next year, all right? What? No, never mind. Never mind. All right, let's get out of here. I'm going to go through this trash right now. Oh, Lois, hey. Say, are you growing any blueberries on your farm? Actually, <laughs> it's funny that you should ask. That's so coincidental. Hey, stop. Here, have one. Thanks, this is great. <laughs> Ooh, three hearts with Lewis. You betcha. I do enjoy a blue, fresh blueberry. <laughs> Good, I'm glad I could give you one. Goodbye. All right, now let's go check Alex's uh, trash, I guess. And we also want to stop off at... Um, at the community center because I have uh, I've got a blueberry and a melon to drop off. We can finish the summer. Oh, a field snack was in there. <laughs> we can finish off the summer bundle. I guess while I'm here, I might as well check the calendar. There's no help wanted, but let me just remind myself what's happening this week. Oh, nothing for a few days. Sam's birthday, uh, Wednesday. Okay, we cannot miss that birthday. Oh, Alex is working now. Hey, buddy. Fancy meeting you here. Uh, let's go make the donation first. Oh, wait, no, I have a geode, so let's go process the geode. Now I got my watering can, too. At Clint's. Hello, Clint! Coming around to say hi first. Little small talk. Don't you have work to do? 
<laughs> yes, I guess we both do. I won't, uh, I won't hold you up. So where's my can? Oh, oh, he just threw it at me. Copper watering can. You received a copper watering can. Let's check it out. Oh, it is copper, all right. Used to water crops. It can be refilled at any water source. And it even comes with water. He put my water back in. Now, that's small town service. You don't get that in the city, my friend. Thank you very much. Now, I would like you to process this uh, frozen tear. Oh, that's like malachite or something. Oh, it's an ocean stone. Ooh, hey. I've never seen one of those before. We'll go donate that to Gunther. Nice. Thanks, Clint. Have a good day. Don't work too hard and stay out of the fort. The furnace. The furnace? <laughs> oh, that's good advice. Okay. Hey, Gunther. Got some stuff here for you. First of all, let's put the uh, my back scratcher. I hate giving up my back scratcher. We'll put it over here with the artifacts. Oh, we got a reward. Sweetness. And we'll put this uh, mineral with the minerals. And another reward. Wow. Oh, hand it over, my friend. What you got? We got two things. We got a standing geode. It's a piece of furniture. It can be placed inside my house. Finally, I get to decorate. Thank goodness. Because furniture is so expensive in this town. And a starfruit seed. Oh, starfruit! It's like Stardew Valley. Starfruit. Oh, these are awesome. Plant these in the summer. It takes 13 days to mature. We got to get them in the ground today. We got to get them in the ground today. 27. Right? I think there's 28 days. Thanks, Gunther! This is so awesome! I'm gonna bring you lots of goodies. Alright, let's mosey on up to the mines right now. I'm gonna check the trash over here. I thought maybe I might find some awesome artifact. Have a good day, Alex. Don't work too hard, okay? And don't eat the merchandise. Take a quick peek in here for Sebastian. He's not usually on the inside. Hey, George! Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. No, they sure don't. They don't make anything like they used to, George. I agree. Stop. <sighs> what can I give Georgie Porgy? Uh, you think Georgie will like a blueberry? I doubt it. Well, sorry, George, I don't have... Oh, oh, Caroline. Caroline's pushing you right out the door. Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. Okay, that's good. That's a good idea. Uh, but wait a second. I'm going to give you a, um, a sweet pea. Stop, please. <laughs> oh, goodness, are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Everybody wants to run away from me. Do you ever take a day off? Not really. I don't really get many days off, sadly. And I think I'm going to give uh, this young lady, Jody. Blech, I hate... Oh, I'm sorry. You don't like spice berries. Okay. Uh, that didn't work out so well. And finally, Pierre. Ugh, it's so hot in here. Have a blueberry. A present? Thanks. Sure. Now, let's get to the mines. It's 3 o'clock. Oh, wait. Community center first. Right, 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 right. We want to go to the pantry, I believe. Yes. Pantry summer crops bundle. We're going to finish it off right here. Blueberry. And a lovely huge melon. <gasps> bundle complete. There goes a little stranger in the balloon. And we, what do we get? Yay. Rewards. A quality sprinkler waters the eight adjacent tiles every morning. Oh, that is fantastic. Awesome. Eight adjacent tiles. So there he goes, depositing the bundle. I wonder what they do with those things. Oh, Penny. Hi. So, do you like to decorate your farmhouse? Oh, I sure do. Unfortunately, I don't have very much to decorate with. But I did just get a lovely standing geode. Why don't you come by and look at it sometime? In the meantime, here, have a sweet pea. Thank you. This looks special. It sure is. Have a nice day. Worms, 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 a rusty spoon. It's an artifact. <laughs> Bring it to Gunther. Look at that thing. It is rusty. <laughs> All right. That's cool. It beats clay, I guess. And let's see if we can catch Sebastian in his house. What time is it? It's 440. Hey, hey, how are you? One thing I did want to check on is this uh, coop. So this houses four coop-dwelling animals. I do have enough money, and this is what I'm saving up for. Or I had been saving up for. I just don't have the stone or the wood materials in order to make the darn thing. So, hey, Robin. Hi. Do you, do you ever talk? Have a sweet bee. Thanks, this is really nice. Sure. Have a good day. And where is your son, Sebastian? Oh, there he is. Can I get in this room yet? Oh, no, Sebastian! Get off the computer! Come out and play! I got your crystal! Oh, man. 
How am I going to get him out of there? He might come out at night. Alright, let's get right down to 30. Maybe we can get to level 35. We'll look at that. Right down to 31. And now it's really dark down. Oh, it's like a little skeleton guy. Nice. And this time, I was smart enough to bring torches. <laughs> I don't want to spend too much time gathering resources, honestly. I just want to get down. Hi, buddy. What, what, what are you? Who is he? Come here. Come here, say hi. How do I tell what it is? Can I carry this? So it does not show... Oh, man. You got to put him down. Oh, here's another one. Whatever it is. Some kind of skeleton thing. Oh, mushroom! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And it looks like another crystal here. It's really super dark. Uh, let me grab... My torch is on the way out, frankly. I need them. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is nice. What is it? It's an amethyst. These guys don't actually attack you. Do they? Oh man, this is scary. Alright, I'm going down. I'm level 32. There's no stair here. I'm going to make a stair. Down another level. We're on 34 now. One more and it's 9 o'clock. I still want to try to get to Sebastian before the day ends. Before it gets too dark. Because they won't let me in the house after dark. I have a reputation, you see. There's something down there. Can I get through here? Man, this place is it really is dark down here. Like, what is that thing? It's running away. Sorry, buddy. Right, I gotta get to the other side. Four torches. Oh, oh wait. I didn't kill you. So is it? Is it? Oh yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. I was gonna say, is it mean killing these guys? Cause they're not fighting back. Level thirty-five. And we have unlocked the elevator, and I think we should probably go home. We still have to water the crops and get these uh, some uh, stardew get these new seeds in the ground and I don't think I'm going to get to Sebastian. The door is certainly locked by now. Alright guys, we got to do this fast. Let's try out our new um, watering can here. Oh, what do, what do you do? Oh, you hold it down! It does three in a row? Oh wow! <laughs> but you got to aim in the right direction. <laughs> Three straight, and then lift. Oh man, that is pretty awesome. Let's try here. All right, can I? Do I have to aim? No, I don't have to. Okay, I don't have to look in that direction. I just have to point in that direction. And it's one o'clock now. Oh man. And I wonder how much water it uses. Hurry up! Got to get everything watered. And we need to get this thing in the ground right now. There's only one seed. I thought it was more. We're gonna put it right. It was already. It's already. Um, uh, fertilize. There we go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We gotta do this. Gotta get everything watered. I can't see everything. Oh no! I passed out! I got level 5 farming. Which means I can choose one of these uh, skills. A rancher or a tiller. Animal products worth 10% more, or crops worth 10% more. I'm going to go with Rancher, because I think down the road I'm going to sell more artisan goods that are animal products. So let's go with Rancher. Oh, look at this. Level 5 Foraging, too. Forester, wood worth 50% more, or gather chance for double harvest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't sell wood. So why would I do that? Definitely gather. And guess what, guys? I think I miss... I think I'm going to miss a whole day. I don't know, let's find out, because I passed out in the fields. <laughs> 550 for those blueberries. 500 for the blueberries, not bad. 100 apiece for the silver stars. Now what happens here? Oh. Doesn't it tell me? Oh, I didn't miss a day, okay. Hmm, I seem to remember in the beta, you would lose a day and a little bit of money. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.